our foreign affairs correspondent, uh, Moyo Thomas, for more on that. Moyo, what more can you tell us about this particular plan, um, which is to take place tomorrow, as the evacuation of Nigerians um, in Sudan? Okay, um, what NEMA has given so far is the update we'll see have to date. Um, I, just moments before I came online, I tried speaking with the Nigerian ambassador to Sudan, but he said he was still very busy and could not give an update at the moment. Uh, so he promised to speak with me later on the update. But the update we have at the moment is what uh, the director of special duties of NEMA said, that uh, they are making arrangements to evacuate 3,500 Nigerians, mostly students, um, using buses from Sudan, from Khartoum to Egypt, and then fly them from Egypt to Nigeria. And uh, from what we also got, the DJ of NEMA is already on ground in, in, in Egypt and is making arrangements. Um, I also tried finding out the airline that will be uh, uh, evacuating them, and we don't have an update on that yet, too. They said they are still making arrangements, and they are looking for uh, the one that the cost will not be too much. So which, whichever airline, I think they are, they are having meetings with all the airlines to see which, the, which one of them would have uh, the most reasonable, reasonable costing, mm -hmm. and then they would get... But well, we're hoping that by the end of tomorrow, before the end of the day tomorrow, we'll have the Nigerians back in the country. Mm. Well, let me ask, um, Moya, because the last time you and I spoke, you were talking about the ceasefire... Um, as one of the reasons we have not been able to evacuate our citizens. Um, what are the um, security guarantees that we have at the moment? Yes, that also was one of the reasons I spoke with the ambassador. I wanted to be sure that the ceasefire, that there's a ceasefire before Nigerians are being evacuated, or he couldn't give me an update. But I'm sure uh, Nigeria will make sure they have a, a, a window that is safe before they try to evacuate. Now we know other nationals of other countries, like the U.S., the U.K., are already doing the evacuation. So uh, we are we, we, we certain that they will definitely be for the best window at the moment. Mm. And just more broadly uh, about this crisis in Sudan, do we know where um, the mediation the mediation attempts, where, we, where the AU, the UN, um, I got where they are on that process? Uh, yeah, that, that I think is in the talk, the talk on the need for all um, foreign organizations at the moment. The UN, the AU, the IGAD, and all of that organizations are trying to wait in to stop people who talk to Sudan. But they're still in the talking phase, they're still talking. We don't have um, a conclusion or, uh, or what uh, the phase of where the discussion is, but we are hoping that for the sake of um, Sudan, for the sake of civilians, and for democracy to try, they will definitely uh, come to the truth. Right, thank you so much. Um, our foreign affairs correspondent, Moyo Thomas, uh, giving us update there on the evacuation of Nigerians from Sudan tomorrow, and just even more broadly on the mediation attempts being made by um, international organizations and as, as well as the African Union. Let's